Thanks for sticking around for ABC Action News after the game. I'm Jasmine Stiles. We start with the story gripping the nation. Law enforcement agencies on both sides of the country are looking for clues to find 22-year-old Gabby Petito. But now the person who could have the key to where she is has disappeared as well. Northport Police, the FBI, and several other agencies spent the day searching for Petito's fiance, Brian Laundrie. Once it got dark, they called off the search, but plan to get back to it in the morning. Let's go to ABC Action News reporter McKenna King who's live in Northport tonight. McKenna, how big is this area that they're searching? Well, Jasmine, this here is the entrance to the Hatchie Creek Park, and this is about 200 acres, but it opens up into the Carlton Reserve. That's about 25,000 acres. Now, law enforcement spent the day combing through all of that, looking for Brian Laundrie, who they say has been missing since Tuesday, and his family claims he's back in here. He had his backpack. Um, he said that this is where he was coming. For the first time since the search for Gabby Petito began, Northport police say Brian Laundrie's family reached out to police. That was on Friday to file a missing persons report for Brian. Well, we have to go by what they're telling us at this point. Certainly, certainly we are looking at, you know, to corroborate all of the information we've received. The Laundry family claims Brian was headed hiking in the Carlton Reserve, an area he frequented, and he left on Tuesday. Law enforcement now treating this as another missing persons case. Brian was not uh, a, a suspect in a crime. Uh, Brian was a person of interest and a missing person. You know, we're not following him everywhere he's going. You know, there's been some of that, you know, that conversation floating out there, and that's, that's just not how it works. Law enforcement called off their search Saturday night with plans to resume first thing in the morning. And meanwhile, on the other side of town, people showed up to City Hall for a vigil, hoping to bring Gabby back home. As mothers, we feel this could have happened to any of us, so we are heartbroken and want answers, and they need to know we're supported. I'm sure they feel alone. They placed ribbons and posters on a tree outside, hoping to keep the focus on her. He didn't just disappear. He did it on his own. Let's focus on finding Gabby. Calling her America's daughter, making sure her family knows how much support they have. Can you come home, Gabby? And of course, law enforcement believes Brian may have information that can help lead them to wherever Gabby is. And they have named him a person of interest in her missing persons case. They plan to begin their search again right here tomorrow morning. And of course, we'll bring you any updates as we get them. Reporting live in Northport, McKenna King, ABC Action News.